Hi, my name is Haley Stockwell and I did my presentation on the fountain. So the fountain is not actually a fountain, it's a repurposed urinal. So Marcel Duchamp, also known as Henry Robert Marcel, was born in July of 1887 near Blainville, France. In 1904, he joined his brothers, who were also artists, in Paris, where he studied painting at Académie Julian until about 1905. Duchamp's original works, including his portfolio, were post-impressionist in style and were directly related to Cubism. He was also a very avid chess player. So this is the fountain. As you can see, it's a urinal with our mutt and the date on the side of it. Um, this piece, he created it in 1917, and there was a replica made in 1964. The fountain was one of Duchamp's most famous works. He purchased this from a sanitary supplier and arranged it to be submitted as a work of art by R. Mutt. I am not really sure where the name came from. I did a lot of research to try to find any details. I didn't find anything. Um, Duchamp is not really one to make this controversial of work, so this is very out of place for him. Um, he wanted to submit his artwork to the Society of Independent Artists in New York. This society claimed that they accepted any work of art, so he decided to push his limits with it. Out of all the board members in the society, Duchamp's work was the only one not to be submitted and accepted. The society did not see this as art because they associated it with human waste. So because of that, this piece caused a ton of controversy. On one side, people think the urinal is actually art and should be displayed. On the other side, people think it's very offensive to traditional art. This piece also caused a lot of other similar pieces to be made. Uh, a lot were made out of toilets and other urinals, but were painted gold. Not really sure where the gold came from. Uh, the closest looking art piece to the fountain was made by Mike Bilbo. He took a urinal, smashed it, and then he reconstructed it and casted it in bronze. He called it the fractured fountain. Because of these different views, um, the Society of Independent Artists refused to show his work, and Duchamp was not happy about it. As a result of his unhappiness, he resigned from the organization in protest as he could not be a part of an establishment that he saw as conservative. Um, since he quit, he went on to play chess, saying that chess has the same beauty as art. And my take on it, I do think that the fountain is art. It is definitely not traditional art, in my opinion, but it is art. Um, it really, art can be made with anything as long as you come up with the idea and you execute it. Although, yeah, yeah. This, this piece is also quite a mystery, which I found very interesting because we don't know where the original piece went. So I think that the society ended up throwing it away or disposing it because once they said they're not displaying it, they just kind of chucked it because they thought it was just a urinal and it wasn't anything interesting to display. So that's why the replica was made in 1964. Um, Duchamp was a, he had campaigned a lot of, he campaigned a lot of the use of ready-mades. So basically ready-mades are taking an object that is already in existence and remaking it into art. The idea is that art is primarily a concept and not an object. So a lot of people really don't think this is art. Um, I do think that it can be considered art because artists are just reusing different objects and making them into something that expresses them or expresses something that it's important to them. Um, after learning about this piece, I really do think that society should not have gotten rid of it. I think that they should have displayed it uh, as it would have introduced other people to different forms of art. Um, and to finish this off, I would like to mention that there's a couple theories about what happened or where this artwork came from. But one of the biggest theories that I found was that a female friend of Duchamp's sent him the work under the fake name R. Mutt, and he decided to take and run with it. And he submitted it and ended up where we are now. So that is my presentation. This is my work cited. And thanks for listening.